Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know all my struggles. You know what. All right, man, so growing up, I got to ask you, who were some of your favorite players? Being from San Diego, I mean, Tony Gwynn. Got to be at the top of the list. Um, Mickey Mantle was always a, a favorite of mine, just sharing the name and the, and the position. Um, yeah, man, I mean, I went through some phases. Like Carlos Gonzalez, when he was popping off with the Rockies, was up there. Um, and then, I mean, Mike, when I was in high school, it was crazy. Now I get to play with him. So, uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So I got to ask you, man, your position. If you did the Mount Rushmore, the four that would be on the mountain, who are the four that would be on the Mount Rushmore for you? Well, I got to start it off with Mickey Mantle. Okay. Uh, Griffey, of course. Okay, that's true. That's true. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Ted, Ted Williams. That's nice, three. And then Mike. You got to. That's, yeah. that's man, that's a great four, actually. I think you were one of the first ones to mention Mickey Mantle. I like that. I like that. So I got to ask you, man, the first time you saw yourself on MLB The Show, I know you said you grew up, you were playing a lot of video games. What did you think to see yourself on a video game? It was interesting. I was a lot worse than my uh, my creative player that I was using when I was in middle school and stuff. But, now nah, it's crazy. I think uh, the very first time, I think they had me in the minor leagues when I was, you know, right after I got drafted. I thought that was an incredible. And then, uh, you know, I got my little brother. He plays MLB The Show a bunch nowadays. And he's sending me pictures of, you know, the the, the card they got of me on there. He's, on the, yeah, he's batting me, like, in the seven hole. And I was, you know. I was giving him shit. I was, I was, like, third, I was like, dude, yeah. what are you doing, bro? He's yeah. like, no, no, no. You're not batting before, you know, Mike or Griffey or all, the other, all those other cards he's got. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy, man. I love it. I love it, man. So, you know how the pitchers have the walk-up songs and everything? They have the cool things. Let's say if it's a song that's named after you. You mm -hmm. can pick any artist that allowed to do your walk-up song. Who does your walk-up song? J. Cole. That's no nice. Doubt. Yeah, yeah. One time for J. Cole. Okay, I like that. Yes, like sir. that. Like that. So, man, I got to ask you, man. You're out here grinding early, man. About to get started, man. But as a player, you got a teammate, man, that does both. Oh. When you see that, what comes to your mind? We talk about Shoei Otani, of course. Yeah, bro. I mean, it's something that we may never see again. To the level that he's doing that, you know, we might see some guys go two way and 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 be successful at uh at both. But mm -hmm. I mean, man, he's He's Cy Young level as a starting pitcher and, and MVP level as a hitter. And then you put those both together. You know, he's, there's a reason he's, you know, top two in the MVP vote in the last two years, won it two years ago. And, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's special. You don't, really, you don't really realize how much goes into it until you're, you know, sharing a locker room with them. And, you know, just to be able to get ready every five days to, to start and then, you know, have to get ready to hit at 7 o'clock every day is, uh, is pretty special. I just got to do one of them, and that's hard enough, so. I couldn't imagine doing both. So, but you mentioned you grew up and you were a big fan of Mike Trout. To be able to be in the clubhouse with that guy, what are some things that you learned? And just seeing him every day, how's that for you? Yeah, man, he goes about his business. Um, you know, there's a reason why, you know, he's been, you know, the best player of the last 10 years, if not, you know, one of the best ever. And, uh, you know, just to be able to watch him do what he does on a daily basis, uh, you know, he puts the work in. There's, there's no days off with him. You know, he's... It's like he's a rookie still, you know, he's uh, it's not like he's, you know, 10, 11 years into his career and he's kind of, you know, slowing down, taking days off. He's in there grinding each and every day. And uh, like I said, man, there's a reason why he's going to go down as the best ever. I love it. I love it. Last question, man. So non teammates, you got to put an outfield out there with you. Let's say it's you and two other guys, non teammates of current players. Who are the two outfielders you put out there with you? Ooh. I got to go Mookie and right. Okay. Uh, non-teammates. We talking lockdown defense or we talking? Oh, man, whoever you want, man. Whatever variation you want. Mookie's a good one. That's a good one. Mookie and right. I mean, he's unbelievable. I can put my boy Schwartz and left. Keep the clubhouse. One time for Big Cow, yeah. Keep the clubhouse locked in. I like that. And hitting homer, so. I like, I like that. Very leisure, man. Well, Mickey, I appreciate your time, man. We're going to be talking again soon, no brother. Doubt, bro. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate That's you. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah.